actually, you know, starting up on that podium was not my idea. Um, we had a really, really great, you know, artistic team that worked with the choreography department and the lighting department. They wanted this to be like a like a political stand of, of you know, everyone wants sort of this role, but what are we going to do with it? It's one of the reasons that I, I love Tears for Fears so much. It always has this sort of spin on a lyric of, of kind of the bittersweet thing that, that happens when leadership, you know, you have the best of intentions and it kind of goes south. And uh, it's one of the reasons I, I really loved singing the song tonight. This is a very commanding song, and of course the nature of the show is you being elected into the winner of the voice, and so we'll, we'll kind of make this performance uh, like just bigger than, bigger than life. You know, I think, you know, the stakes are obviously very different than on a Broadway stage. However, um, you know, there's still thousands of people in this audience, and, and that's the message that you're trying to connect with those people, and it's that energy exchange that has to happen, and I don't care if it's on a Broadway stage or, you know, a television audience. You know, the TV audience is going to sense when something is electric and magically happening, you know. So it was really important for me to connect with those people that were in that room. And I think that that probably translated on television. My wife just had a baby about a week ago. And I am so excited. Um, it actually, with my personality, works as, a, as kind of a blessing because I kind of white-knuckle situations if they're just isolated events. So the fact that I could do sort of two things at once allowed me to, to kind of keep it, uh, keep it together during the whole process and, and be able to divide my attention and, and kind of keep my sanity, really. You know, uh, most people uh, just think of me as a, as a Broadway guy, or this guy has a lot of theater experience, but I was a singer-songwriter for eight years before I even moved to New York and started doing Broadway. Um, I'd really like to do something a little bit more intimate, more stripped down, something that's a little bit more uh, pulls at your heartstrings, you know, whether it's a, a really intense lyric that really is a, a broken sort of love story or a melody that just kind of rips your heart out. Uh, I think that the audience needs to see that side of me.